You ever just sit down because you're bored out of your mind and think, contemplate about your life and how little you've done, how little you've accomplished when comparing yourself to others. I've done that many of times, too many to count. And what I've realized from all that comparison is that I haven't done anything in my life. Not at all. Not comparable to what some genius um, kid has already done. No. Or some rich entrepreneur kid that's only like 16 years old making a million dollars a year. I'm uncomparable to them. I can't even envision myself ever, ever at all becoming one of those people. And what I realized from that is that all of us, in nature of us being humans, we all have a deep, deeply rooted need to be important. To be important not just to ourselves, not just for self-validation, but also to others, to feel needed, to feel like you're a part of something bigger than yourself. To feel like your whole life has been lived for a reason, for a purpose, and not for naught. And I feel that that is an attribute present in everyone. Everyone. You know, no matter who you are, you have a need to be important. And I think everything we do revolves around that need to be important, to be validated, to be something that you're not. To be something that you can never envision yourself being. And I think most people strive for that. Think of it like this. Parents. What do parents want? What what are their dreams? Well, most parents, it would seem that their goal is to raise a good child, right? To make them happy, to make them success, to make them successful. But what about us kids? What is our goal? What is our purpose in life? Well, my answer to that is that we don't. We don't have one. Every day we spend looking at other people's successes, but we never know how to get our own success. Maybe we do, but even so, there's so much information out there that we don't know what's good for us. We don't know what we should do to become successful. Back in the day, it used to be just go to college, get a good job, You know, have a family and save a bit of money until you die. That was it. Very simple. But now, now everything's gotten a lot more harder. Now, if you want to get into a good college, not only, not only do you have to, um, not only do you have to participate in loads of different competitions to show that the college that, you know, you're qualified, you're good enough to go. But you also have to have outstanding grades, have <clears throat> a good GPA, have other stuff like that. And I think I think it's it's a lot it's a lot to ask for for the younger generation. And that's why that's why a lot of us feel lost, feel confused, feel overwhelmed by how much w- the world is expecting from us when you know some only some select Gifted individuals can achieve that. If you're young, young enough, there's still time, you know, to build upon your skills and one day become successful. But for people who are slightly older, hope seems distraught. It seems like all hope is gone and that no matter what you do, you won't be as rich as your parents when they were 20 or 30. You won't be able to get a house by 30 years old. And everything seems a lot more harder. Yes, there are people that have made massive success, massive successes with the boom of the internet, but that's only a select few. With the internet, the rich get richer. All the poor or the unsuccessful 
stay unsuccessful, stay consuming, and stay being nobodies. But all of us, all of us, we strive to feel important, to be important, to feel validated. Not just for our own sake, but to feel important to others, to be important to others. But how can we do that? How can we do that in this day and age when everything is stacked against us? Thank you for watching. I've been Harry, and I want to say thank you. That's been it for today. Goodbye.